God is good. God is good. Uh, the church, uh, I'm greeting you. God is good. I can't hear you. God is good. I'm also requesting the PA team to improve my, my mic, increase the volume a little bit, and make the PA, the backing speaker to work so that I do not shout and speak. Uh, the last time I was in this church was 2013. I didn't come to preach. I came to sing. Uh, there was an elder who was my friend. I do not know if he is still here, Elder Mbadi. I do not know if he moved or is still a member of this church. Uh, he's uh, one of, he's been a good friend. Uh, I'm also privileged to have uh, a good singer, uh, Evans, here with us. Uh, so, and my wife is also here with us. Uh, Janet, maybe you can stand and greet the congregation. Yes, I think this one is now better. So God is good. And all the time? And how can you greet me? God is good. Yes, uh, I'm saying I'm privileged to be here one, one more time to share the word of God. The last time I was here was in 2013. I actually didn't, I didn't come to preach. I came to sing. And then today I'm worshiping with my wife. We have been married for four years and uh, three months. God has blessed us with three kids. Are you, are you getting me? So the firstborn, our firstborn is three, three years. And then the last two are twins. So don't look at me as if now in the last speed. No, it is no speed. It is a blessing from God. Amen? <laughs> Elder, thank you so much, Elder Dennis, for a beautiful introduction. May the Lord bless you. Uh, thank you so much, Sister Abigail, for a beautiful uh, children, someone. I'm very much blessed. Shall we pray even as we begin? Gracious Father divine, we have come just as we are. As the Lord, we pray that you may bless us. Fill this church with the power of the Spirit, that you may speak to us one more time, one more time, that one or two may be drawn closer to you. For I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Our key text came from the book of Psalms 46, verse 10. Psalms 46, verse 10. 10. We can open. Psalms 46, verse 10. If you are there, say amen. Not yet. Psalms 46, verse 10. It reads, Be still. You can read together. Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. So I want to preach under the subject theme you've known, who is the king? Are we together? So the second prayer is in, in order. Father, speak one more time in Jesus' name. Amen. The Lord says that be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations and I will be exalted in the earth. I want to begin by saying there are so many gods in this earth. Around the world, there are so many gods that people worship. Many people have got carved images which they bow down to in the comforts of their families, comforts of their homes. These are carved images which they, to them they can obey and respect and say this is God. Many people have got so many gods. To some, preachers are their gods. They can follow these preachers from one way one place to another, following these preachers. But then I submit to you that the church was never built on the eloquence of preacher. No, the church was built on Jesus Christ the rock. Hallelujah, church. They are not with me. And so let me continue by saying, many people have got their gods. These gods are, uh, 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 are in so many places. To some, their degrees are their gods. To some, their girlfriends are their gods. To some, their boyfriends are their gods. To some, it is the place of work. And to some also, it is their statement from their bank's account. 
But then I submit to us that there is no king apart from him I'm standing here to preach about. And his name is Jesus Christ crucified. Hallelujah. No, you are not with me. So let me move a little bit. I sing the mighty power of God. The scholars, you sang this song powerfully. Can you sing stanza one? As I wake this church up, they are asleep. Psalms. Song number 88, Sansa 1. It is part of God. I sing. There is a king. That's what I'm preaching about. He is the king and the lord of lords. Hallelujah, church. There are so many kings. Your place of work could be your king. You have your kingdoms that you rule. But then there is one who rules in the kingdom of men. And his name is Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. This team is not with me. Hallelujah, church. Now, this is a better row. Let me try this one. I'm saying there are so many kingdoms around the world. To many, it's shocker. There are those who love football so much. They love Arsenal, Manchester. They love Chelsea. Those are small kingdoms. But then there is one who is the king of kings and the lord of what? No, this is a better team. Allow me to move down here. So that I wake this church up. You see, you don't, preaching is not just talking. It is, talk, it is not just preaching. It is talking to people. So that they understand what you are saying. There are so many people with so many kings in this world. Your wife could be your kingdom. Your place of work could be your kingdom. Your church could be your kingdom. Your pastor. The preacher could be your kingdom. But I'm saying there is a God of God. There is a Lord of Lords and the King of what? Kings. Kings. No, that's a better now. That's better. You see, Someone called Nebuchadnezzar, exalted in the pinnacle of world honor, lifted himself more than any other thing. And the Bible says, one day as he was walking up, he said that, is this not Babylon? I have uh, constructed with my might, my, my own strength. At the same time, the word came to him that you, Nebuchadnezzar, you must recognize there is one who rules in the kingdom of what? Men. That is what I'm preaching about. Because there are so many kingdoms around the world. But then there is a God who made the heavens and the what? The earth. Many do not know him. Many can, can say they love him, but they do not know him yet. There are so many who come to church, but the moment the Lord blessed them, they were given gifts from God. The grace of God abounded in their families. Now, look at your life. Before you got married, you used to come to church early enough. You could sing in the choir early enough. But the moment God gave you grace, he lifted you up. These days you can come to church anyhow. The grace confused you. Small God. There are those who, before they got their jobs, don't worry, I don't preach what you want to listen to. I'm a preacher who preach the truth. Are we together, church? So you don't be scared. There are those who could come to church in time before they got married. These days, they can come to church anyhow. There are those, by the time they were looking for jobs, they came to church and pastor and the elders prayed for them. But these days, because they got the gift came their way, they can come to church anyhow. Probably, they no, longer, they, they no longer come to church. Yes, those are kingdoms in the world. But I'm saying there's a king who rules in the kingdom of... This guy is... The, do I have a church here? Do I have a church here? What I'm seeing, or oh, it is the coronavirus scaring you. Don't worry. The Lord we preach about is the Lord of Lords and is mighty than Corona. Hallelujah. So don't worry, my friends. Speak. The Bible says that King Nebuchadnezzar lifted up himself. 
And then he was told, there is a God who rules in the kingdom of what? Man, he is ruling the workplace. He is ruling your wife, ruling your children. He is the king of what? Kings. And the Lord of? Now, this is a church now. Because so many people. Then, before they got a job, let us say with me. Before they got jobs, they were carrying their Bibles to church. They were carrying physical Bibles to church. Let me carry mine. They were carrying physical Bibles to church. But these days, because the grace of God, money came their way. They can come to church carrying other stuff, but leaving the Bibles back home. My friend, there is no power outside the Bible. You know, say amen. Let me try this rule. This is a good rule. There is no power outside the word of the Bible because the word of God speaks to us. My friend, I'm saying there's a king who spoke the word into existence. And if he spoke the word into existence, he can speak problems out of your life. And his name is the king of kings and the lord of... Now, this is a better role. God is blessing you. This is the road the, the still sleeping. Yes, the moment money came their way, Instead of carrying the physical Bible to church, they are carrying their gadgets. My friend, there is no power outside the word of what? You will not communicate, but I will continue. You see, if three demons can come to this church, because the Bible is right, when the sons of God came before him, the demon also came along. You say with me. <laughs> so don't be scared. It could be possible that even here there is a demon. And you do not know. Those who have refused to recognize the rulership of Jesus Christ in their lives. Three demons. One from this door. Hmm. It is locked. Another one from behind there. Another from this door. And then everyone is asked to cast the demon away. Cast the demon. Cast the demon. Those with the physical Bible. The demon because there is a power in the world. I don't know. They will cast the demon, and the demon trembles and flees. Are we together? Now another one, who left his Bible home, will try the demon with his phone. My friend, the demon will slap you. <laughs> we need men, young people, who love the Bible because there's a creator of the world who spoke the world into existence. He divided the rivers, the waters, and the sky. My friend is the king of kings and is the lord of... Hmm. And he is the Lord of Lords. Can I continue? You are doing a good job. Don't worry. Because many of us do not know him. Many are worshipping all forms of gods. Many people say they worship the Lord of Lords and the King of what? Kings. But their conception of the same God is as, uh, uh, varies as the items on the shopping mall. You ask him, who is that God? So many people create, worship any form, any other thing. You ask him, what has your God done? You see, I met someone who was saying that I cannot worship your God. They are worshiping these carved, carved images. So I'm saying, why do you worship this carved carve, carve image? What has the carved image offered to you? What has your God done to you? If you are asked, why do you come to church? Why did you leave your home to come to Parkland's SD Church today to worship? What will you say about that God? Let me tell you about him, whom I worship. He is the one who can heal the sick. This team, this is a church which is so, so heavy, but I'll, I'll try to move on. There is a, a God who could heal, raise the dead Lazarus back to life. Now, we don't agree. The Bible says that Lazarus was buried how many days? Now you are with me. Four days. But then Lazarus, if he was asked later on, but what happened? You will say, you see, I was buried four days. People were mourning about me. But this man came. <laughs> this man came. And when he spoke, he said, Lazarus, come what? Forth. And Lazarus came forth, walking. No stinking all. Because when the Savior speaks, even the dead man is brought back to life. This is good. Yes. When he speaks, a poor man becomes rich. No, you are not with me. This is song which says, Let the weak say I am. No, you are with me now. Evans, can you sing that song for me? 
Let the weak say, Let the poor say, Let the blind man say, I am, I can see. My friend, when the Lord spe speaks, a dead man rose back to life, a poor man become rich, a fool become wise. He is the ruler, he is the king of kings and the lord of? Yes. My friend, do you know him? Do you know him? That's the question I'm asking. Because so many people, knowing him, he's not singing in the choir. Anyone can sing. Knowing Christ is not preaching. Anyone can preach. Hallelujah, church. Amen. Knowing him, he's knocking, not making announcement in church. Anyone can come and make announcement. Those who know him are those who have had personal touch with him. And because he's powerful, even they, they are poor. Hmm. That is it. He says, he spoke everything into existence. And so if he can speak the rivers to divide, he can speak till the trees in Nairobi disappear. Because he created him, he can also depopulate the world. Do you think he cannot do that? If he spoke angels into existence, we have got millions of angels. Not created. God just spoke and said, angels appear. And millions of angels appear. That is why a man is better than angels. Because with us, he were created in his own word. Image, my friend. Image and likeness. Do you know him? That is the question. Paul says that I may know him and the power of his resurrection. Power of his resurrection. You might receive power when the Holy Spirit has come down upon Without the spirit, even a singer is pre when a singer is singing, he's wasting time. Let the spirit of God come down in his heart. Hallelujah. Yes. Can you greet me if you're with me? That is the power I'm talking about. Power that God is saying, I created everything. Now, for you to accept that I created everything, understand that anything you see. That song that says that when I look, I turn around to look. I'm amazed at what you created. You see, even walking. Ella, can you walk? Now, let me see you. Ella, walk. Ella, walk. Even the Ella who is walking, there's a power controlling his mind, steps, and everything. And that power belongs to the King of Kings. Hallelujah. And he's the Lord of? Now, this is a good church now, Elder. Don't worry. We are moving step by step. Hmm. Yes, step by step. Many people don't know him. Many people do not know him. They can say when they are looking for wealth. In fact, there are so many who derive their wealth from shrines. And then they come to church to thank God for the wealth they have. Many! Because they do not know him. That in him, a poor man becomes rich. The sick is made whole. Hallelujah! The blind man can see. My friend, that is the king of kings and the Lord. No. Just relax. What can you say about him? You see, I don't preach theories. Theories, what is killing this church now? Theories, don't preach theory. Preach the sermon which has touched you. Are we together, church? Yes, don't just preach sermons. You see, when my wife was delivering twins, that is the God I know. I don't know about your God, I know my God. When we did scanning, they said that the, twi the, uh, the twins, one was lying normally, and the other one was lying I'm not a doctor, so I don't know. The one was lying normally, and the other one was not lying no? normally. <laughs> I'm not a doctor, don't worry. And so when the scanning, we did it twice to ascertain whether it was true or false. We did it the second time, we went to Kenyatta. They said, my friend, be, be ready for CS, because this one is dangerous. This one is dangerous. And so when I was in Lovington committing last year, on Wednesday, my wife tells me, calls me in the morning that you see the amniotic fluid. You know amniotic fluid has come out. I saw the twins have no water. She's in the house. One lying normally and the other one not. I called the, call the elders and the pastor. I say pastor and elder. My wife says the amniotic fluid has come out. She's in the house. Let me organize that she's rushed to Kenyatta Hospital. She's rushed to Kenyatta. At three, no labor pain. No labor pain. One lying normally, the other one. 
I'm saying, elders, we must continue to bring no labor. And so the doctor say, my friend, because there is no labor, we are moving you to the CS room. She's taken to the CS room. When she's there, the other uh, ladies are storing, waiting for their time to be operated. But then we are praying. You see, I'm this guy who does not just pray. When I pray, I believe God must do it. I don't just pray. I don't joke with God when I'm praying. I'm saying, God, you must do. You are, you are doing this one. You must do. So from the CS room, CS room, the uh, uh, labor pain begins. Are you getting this? Begins automatically. Be rare. God is doing something. It's working behind the scene. Women on the, in the CS room because she's making noise. Labor pain. I'm saying, Madam, are you confused? Are you confused? Are you mad? This is CS room. No one is expected to experience any what labor pain. The doctor. She says, Now, doctor, come. Doctor, woman, are you no more? The doctor comes, look at her, and says, Almost the first one is coming out. Hold on. Hold on, madam. Hold on. They don't know there's a God working behind the scene. That is him. He's the king of kings and the Lord. He rules in the kingdom of men. Hey, madam, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. She's taken from there. Back to normal delivery theater room. When the first baby, normal, came out, the second one lying and not normally came out, followed immediately. <laughs> My friend, I don't preach the God I do not know. He is the King of kings and the Lord. Do you know him? That is the question. A simple sermon. Because so many of the people have kings, my friend. Many people have kings. Degree, king. But then you ask him, this degree without him, would you have gotten it? They don't know. Many people, after they have a job, now the job becomes their king. But they don't know that without him, who is the real king, the job can go anytime. But then remember, to God, he does not need a bank account to feed you. They are not with me. Let me try this row. <laughs> this is a God who does not need a bank account to feed you. In fact, he does not need a bulldozer. How many of you know bulldozer? <laughs> he doesn't need a bulldozer to make a way for you. In fact, Christ, to him, all things are possible. He is the king of kings and the Lord of? Now you are with me. Now you are with me now. My friend, do you know him? Because young people, when you are 35 and no one has come your way, you think God is not taking charge. So you look for solution. My friend, to God, a barren woman at 90 conceived and her name was sad. Hallelujah, church. God opens the wombs. Oh, people says, now you barren, conceive. When he speaks, even the husband is confused. Manoah can tell you. Yes? When he speaks, the blind man can walk. The lame can walk. The blind man begins to see. A blind Christian begins to see the invisible. No, they are not with me. Let me try this room. Hey, Nini. Now you are with me. I'm saying, there's one who sits on I. And his name is Jesus Christ Cruci crucified. When you are connected to him, even the someone is not just a someone, but a powerful word. When you're connected to him, you don't need to be so eloquent on the, on the pulpit. You won't let him to speak because when the Lord speaks, blind Christians begin to see the invisible, begin to see the steels of gold. Have you seen the steels of gold yet? No, you have not seen because you are not either yet. My friend, when I was young, I could dream I'm flying. A young man. By then, I didn't know I will be a pastor one day. But I could fly, my friend, by myself. A Christian must begin to think of the things to come, not on the things which are seen. Because the curse, friends, all these are perishable. But to those who are in him, they will last forever. Amen. Hallelujah, church. Amen. Do you know him? Do you know him, my friend? Do you know him? Let me know him. You see, many people steal. Why do people steal? They steal because they think God does not have their provision. So they, because they have the opportunity to steal today, they take everything. But to a Christian, even 10,000 put on the table, he knows that even if I don't pick this, there's a God who is the same today, tomorrow, and this is not a good church. 
my friend, let me see it now. Because you don't know him. You see, I've preached and I've gone to places. I was in camp meeting, Meru, last year. A place called Ntui, Helder. How many have been to Kangeta? Kangeta? No, this is now a good class. No, in Kangeta, in a place called Mutui Neaman Ntui, Apu Kwamulima Ju. When I left Nairobi, I knew Mira is not a serious tree. Yani lejo Mira ni mchezo tu ya tree when I was going. But when I went to Meru, Ella, I can be my friend. Have you seen Mira before? Can be my friend. I've never seen Mira anywhere. Lakini na juani miti kidogo. You are wrong, my friend. Let's go around. So we went around looking. Around. To a stroll around. I can be my friend. Are you seeing now? This one is Mira. This one is a serious tree. I can be Mira can live for 200 years, Mira. But then in Meru, Mira is not just a tree. Mira is a source of livelihood. So he says now in Meru, there are so many thieves. He says, there are so many thieves. Now I say, oh, so many thieves, yes. So why, what is wrong with that? Thieves are everywhere. But he says now in Meru, everyone who has Mira has to hire someone. Whose work is to safeguard the Mira tree. Why? Because a portion of the leaves worth 20,000 or 15. Now, as he may too do, he must have a sharp panga. Sharp panga. No, in Mira, in Mira, in Mira, in Mira, that's panga. If you cut a shingo, he may end up. See, Guru, dear. He may end up. So he says, you see this tree now. I had someone with a sharp panga. But then thieves also walk around to see if there's an opportunity to steal. They came. When they, he, 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 my, my man went, went somewhere a little bit for a short call. When they immediately went somewhere. The thief came, climbed up to steal Mira. Then me, my man, my man came back immediately. My man came back immediately. So when my man came back immediately, in Mira, in Meru, whosoever sports each other faster than the other must do the necessary. So he says, whosoever sports, this guy is on top of the tree. Are you with me? No, if you are with me, can you wave? No, this is a good church now. He's on top. Sharpanga is a thief, ready to do the necessary. Another one is down. Whose work is to save God? Now that one realized that I'm not in a better position to act. This guy down is in a better position to kill me. So yes, he attempted to run away. Tempted, attempting to jump from top of Mira. This guy who is down. Are you with me? No, if you are with me now. Akakata mugu, ikabaki pandeina socks. Mugu ikabaki kidude ya mugu. This guy, realizing that this man will kill me, I had to run away with kidude ya mugu. I'm okay, don't worry about me. I had to run away with the kidude ya mugu. 100 meters. That is our sinner should run to Christ. Because behind you is a man slayer waiting to kill you. The Bible says that the, the devil is a roaring wolf looking for you to kill. But God is protecting you. Hallelujah, Judge. Even when you are fornicating, sleeping with a married woman, God is there protecting you. No, they are not with me. So let me prove it from the Bible. David says that if I make my bed in hell, you are? So can you talk with me now? If I make my bed in hell, you are what? If I ascend to the eyes of the sky, you are where? God is there protecting you. Even when you are sleeping with someone else's wife, God is there protecting you. Because man slayer is looking for you to kill. He's the king of what? Kings, whosoever stands with him. The Bible says your enemies will come in one direction. Are you with me? But because we are standing with him, because one plus God is the majority, standing with him, you are majority. People think you are alone, but they don't know that behind you is man, powerful, king of kings. They say they come in one direction to destroy you, but because of him, they will flee in seven what? Seven directions, my friend. He is the king of kings. And the Lord of? Now you are with me. I'm saying, there are so many kingdoms. Even your life, someone could be ruling, but allow the king of kings to begin to rule your life. 
When it is in, wrong thoughts are removed. Wrong thoughts. A young man who is sending messages to a married woman, you are also here. Someone else is ruling you. But Christ is saying, come now, let us reason. This is a good role. But this is the role which is difficult. So let me try him. <laughs> come to him. Because he is holy. And everything about him is? No, you are not with me. Let me say, no, talk. Talk with me now. The judgment of God is so? His judgment is? His name. His what? Even his laws are holy. Hallelujah. Everything about him are holy. That is why it says that be holy for I am what? Be holy for the king of kings is holy. Is holy. Let me now teach you Bible a little bit so that you understand what I'm saying. When Christ was being crucified, you see I'm preaching about a king of kings and the lord of what? This guy came down the stairway of heaven. He was born in Bethlehem. He was hid in Egypt. Brought up in Nazareth. Now Nazareth was a wicked city. Known for all immoralities. But Jesus in Nazareth. If you are a Bible student, you know that there's a, this proverb which says, can anything good come from? No, this is a good class. Nazareth was a wicked city. But even from that Nazareth, Jesus lived a sinless life. He went to Calvary, died, buried. On the third day, he rose again. That's why he has a risen word. A sovereign say, is in the world today. I know that he, whatever men, he is voice of cheer. And yes. He lives. Christ Jesus lives today. Yes. friend, he lives. The question is, does he live in your heart? It is one thing to say you are a Sabbath keeper. Hallelujah! It is a different thing to live as a Sabbath keeper. Is my mic okay, my friend? It's okay. Many people love coming to church, but they hate the laws of the king of kings. Many people love being informed. In fact, a Sabbath, a Sabbath keeper, a serious one, can quote Sister Ellen White quotes even in the middle of the night. Wake him up. My friend, can you quote for me great controversy? They know. Informed but not transformed. Many have a form of godliness but denying the power thereof. Are we together, church? Do you know he's the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords in Calvary? That's my last statement. Don't worry. There were two, two thieves. You remember them? Are you church with me, church? Then there was Christ. The one thief on the left, the second thief on the right. And then the cross of Christ was in the middle. Are we together? Why do you think it was in the middle? Because Christ must be the center of everything. He must be the center of the church. If the church is not centered on Christ, that is a wrong church. Run away. Because Christ is the power. Hallelujah. The cross of Christ was in the middle. Number two, it was raised more than the rest. Why? Because when a sinner could easily spot the cross and run away. From the cross, there's a source of power. From the cross, there's a source of life. From the cross, a fool becomes wise. The poor is made rich. From the cross, a barren man, a barren woman conceives. From the cross, my friend, a poor, a father, a, a fatherless has a father. The widow has a husband. These guys are not with me. You don't know him. You don't know him, my friend. The cross of Christ was lifted up more than any other thing so that any penitent sinner who looked to the cross must run. You know what? I don't know about you. I'm running. <laughs> I don't know about you, my friend. You are looking for a wife. They are here. 
You see, there's this Nigerian proverb. We see, young men, listen now. Because you have been praying for long. Sometimes you realize you don't need to pray, act. You cannot pray all the time. The Nigerian proverb says, a young man who sits next to a beautiful woman, are you getting me? End up saying nothing. Will he regret when he fetches water and firewood on our wedding? Say something now. <laughs> you cannot be praying all the time. Because why? This is why young people are saying, our men, our men are not romantic. Because on a social Sunday, they have also carried their Bible with them. My friend, it is a social Sunday, not a Bible symposium. <laughs> we must wake up now. The cross of Christ was lifted up that every penitent sinner must run to it. Hallelujah. Yeah. My friend, he lives. He lives. He lives. Nature servant, look at your neighbor. Beautiful and handsome. Look at the world. Look at the anthill. Walking around, someone is guiding them. Look at your mother who gave birth to you. Do you support her? Or you are here in Nairobi disappearing? You see so many people came to Nairobi because they misbehaved in the village. They misbehaved. But Christ is saying, my cross is in between. Run. You see, I cannot continue to preach for you anymore. I'll preach everything you wanted. <laughs> Stanza two. Yeah, yeah, we I want to end this thing, my friend. Everything God has spoken to you. Anything you want, you want to pass exams. Don't worry, my friend. Only be connected to him who is the king. Hallelujah. You are looking for school fee. Him. The Bible says silver and gold belong to. So why are you worried? You are looking for peace from your family. Your mother and your father are fighting all the time. And so you are worried. What you do you know what to do? Hold, kneel, and invite the presence of the king in your family. <laughs> These guys are not with me <laughs> because they don't know him. They don't know him. All of us are leaning. We are limping in sins. Way down by the sins of the world. But do you know why the story of Jacob is there? Do you know? So that each time you limp in sin, you should know that you should not just be limping, but leaning. Elder, can you come? SDS. Preaching for SDS is not easy. And so you must demonstrate <laughs> what you are saying. You see, SDA can be anything. SDA can be Social Democratic Association, SDA. But we are not SDS. We are Seventh-day Adventists. Mm. This guy is, is Jacob. Named, misnamed, and God I desired that this man was to be the prince, not supplanter, not a liar. God did not desire that you become a fornicator. No. That you become a serious fornicator. God did not desire. People call you name because you've not trusted him. Jacob was limping. My friend, do you know how to limp? Yeah. Now let, let us go. Jacob was limping. But the church could only see him limping. They could not see the unseen God who was guiding him. <laughs> These guys are not with me. I'm, let me try this through. When he came to church, they could say, that man is a liar. That, man with, that woman with a short skirt, that one is going to hell. You see, the SDS who think heaven belongs to them. They decide who goes. <laughs> they decide who goes there. In fact, they are too holy. <laughs> too holy, they just need a fire to go back. <laughs> so, as Jacob was limping, <laughs> they could not see the unseen God who was leading him. So to them, this guy is limping way down. But actually he's not limping, he's leaning. Mm. My friend, always limp because you cannot overcome sin. Only him can overcome it for you. Can they say amen? amen. My friend, as you limp with the, way down by the sins of the world, be leaning. Limp while you limp. My friend, that is it. The songwriter says, draw me nearer. You cannot be drawn. If you are limping and you are not connected to him, who is the king? Can you say amen, my friend? Amen. You must always be limping as you lean because the power will be drawn and you will be able to overcome every challenge on this world. Amen. My friend, God bless you. I cannot preach like this forever. The sermon is very clear. <laughs> 
The sermon is very clear. Yes? A good preacher. You see, a sermon must have an objective. You don't just preach anything. Yes, you don't come to the pulpit to preach. The sermon, the objective is there is a king of kings and the Lord of? Lord. So that is the objective. And the, the character of him who sits on high, ruling in the kingdom of men, we have said that to him a barren can conceive, uh, the sick can, made e they can be healed, the blind man can see. In him, my friend, the barren Sarah conceived. Hallelujah! My friend, run to him. Run to him, my friend. Who is saying that I want to know him? <laughs> Who is saying I want to know him? If you say you want to know him, stand on your feet. Know him, my friend. Know him. Know him. Know him. You want to rule in your life. You want to rule in your relationships. You want to rule how you eat. Mm. You see the rest you eat everything. My friend, you can't eat everything. Even swine. No. The Bible says swine eat us. Yes. You cannot. He says he wants to rule in your life. And he's the Lord of lords and the king of what? Let me try to make another one. We can allow 20 here. Not easy. If you have something which is burning, burning, a challenge, you must come here. I don't need many people. Burning, just walk and come this side. We are doing serious prayer now. You want a wife? My friend, come. He's the king of kings. You want a job? Come, my friend. Come. This side. You maintain your social distance, my friend. But even if you don't maintain it, there's a king of kings who is powerful than coronavirus. So say amen, amen. Yes. 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 Probably. Yeah. Elder, probably. Are you getting me? Probably. Probably. Don't worry, this side is for some, some, a, a special man now. Who is now, the heaven is rejoicing because of her. This special man is the person who wants to be baptized. You have never been baptized. My friend, this coronavirus should not come your way before you are baptized. <laughs> and it will not come because of him who is the king of kings and the Lord. This is a good church, my friend. I will come again. Now, if you want to be baptized, don't, don't look at your neighbor. They look at your limping. They don't know you are limp, leaning. Just walk, come this side. We, are, we want to pray for you. If you want to be baptized, my friend, you know yourself. Just walk and come. Those ones for be baptized, this place is too big. If you want to be baptized, you have never been baptized, you just walk. Just walk. And shame the devil. Hallelujah, church. Amen. May the Lord bless us, my friend. May the Lord always remind us that he is the king of kings. And you must allow him in. Hallelujah. If you allow him in, you love peace. Because in Christ, my friend, there is peace and joy that the world cannot see. The world look at you crying. They don't know that in Christ there is peace and joy that the world cannot see. Hallelujah. I want us to pray, my friend. I want us to pray. I will invite my wife to come so that we pray. Anyone for, to be baptized? You are all being baptized, right? It's okay. Don't worry. God is still speaking to your hearts. If you want to be baptized, don't look at your friend. You just walk. As we pray, we pray together. Yes. So, do you have another mic? Or I can use mine. Because we are a family anyway. <laughs> so we are praying for this church. And then I'll pray for these special people. Amen. Shall we pray? Heavenly Father, Lord of Lords and King of Kings, hallowed be thy name. We worship you in this Sabbath day, dear Father, acknowledging that you are mighty and all-powerful to save. Father, your children, dear God, in Parklands have come before you this day. My prayer, Lord, this day is that they will live rejoicing and saying that the Lord has been with them. May you meet each and every one at their various points of needs, Heavenly Father. Dear God, you are powerful and able. 
Anyone who is sick, dear Father, may you heal them. You are the great physician. We put each and every one into your able hands that you will see them through. The challenges they may be going through, you know, dear Father, we pray, dear Father, that they will testify that the Lord lives. Thank you for our country, Kenya. Thank you, dear Father, because you are protecting your children from coronavirus and will continue to heal the sick. May you be with us now and forevermore, for we pray and trust in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, who is our Lord and Savior. Gracious Father, we thank you for Parkland's SD Church. I thank you for the pastor who is not in. I thank you for all the elders of this church. We thank you for all the departmental leaders of this church. We thank you for the choir. We thank you for the young people of this church. This was a creation Sabbath reminding us that, Lord, you are the king of kings and the, the, the Lord of lords. There's no any other king greater than you. No any other God greater than you. Because your glory will you not give to the other. Father, your children have come before you. We have come just as we are, way down by the sins of this world. Many are looking for spouses to marry them. They are wondering whether they will remain single forever. My friend, they will not remain single because in the name of Christ, a good husband is also there for them. A good wife is there for them. Direct them that they can meet. Father divine, that this woman who is wondering whether her children who have turned against her, many are in drugs, many do not come to church, many love their jobs more than any other thing. Their husband is beating her. She is here also crying for you. Father, restore peace in these families because you are the God of peace. There's this young girl who is here. The parents may not support her enough. She's wondering. They have kicked her out of their home. Lord, she is here. But Lord, we know that you are the God of shelter. A father to the fatherless. A husband to the widow. Father, this church will not just be a church because it reminded us that you as the king must be the center of everything. If Christ is lifted up, he will draw all men to himself. Not preachers. There are many preachers on the pulpit now. The preachers are not kings, my friend. They are servants. We pray that we may look to Christ, who is the author and the finisher of our faith. Father, we pray for everyone represented here. Those seeking for jobs, grant them jobs. Those seeking for various difficulties, that we may answer their prayers. Father, meet us at the very point of our needs. Those who are weighed down by sin, Father, in you, the blood of Christ is still washing all the sins away. So, Father, we pray that you may bless this church as we break, as we stay, as we meet again. That, Lord, to the glory of your name, you may bless each and every one. For I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, our Lord be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and glory forever and ever. Amen. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. May the Lord bless you. God bless you. God bless you. We will close with the song number 300, Rock of Ages. And I will request that uh, those who are within should just be upstanding so that we sing together. i 
throne be unseen the double king cleanse me from his guilt and pain all the labors of my hands can fulfill the Lord's demand to my zeal no rest but long could my tears forever flow all for sin no Lord at all thou must save and thou alone when my pilgrimage I close victories are the last of falls when I saw to us unknown and behold me on thy throne rock of ages left for me let me hold myself in Shall we pray? Father divine, you are the rock of ages. Help us to cleft always in thee. Lord, we know when we run to you, Lord, you are powerful. You are the king. You have spoken to us, reminding us that there is nothing in this world that, Lord, you cannot do. You can heal the sick. You can also open the eye of the blind. You can speak, and the dead man can come to life. Trasaras can testify. Lord, a barren woman can conceive in the name of Christ and Sarah can testify. Father, the young men in this church, this is a youthful church. Lord, we pray that one time we may have a whole week to share the word of God together. I'm praying for the church pastor. Be with him. Be with everyone. These people, everyone who is here, young, old, Father, bless in a special way. Those in school, provide school fee. Those who are down, way down in despair, Father, restore hope because you are the King of Kings. Father, bless all women, all watching online, every man watching online, wherever from the corner of the world watching, that Lord, they may know that you rule in the kingdom of men, that they may not respect their jobs more than they respect you. They should not respect men who are feeble, that Lord, because you are infinite, and every man should be connected with thee. Father, that those who still worship idols around the world, they do not care about you. They trample upon their laws. But you say that one day every knee and every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Young knee, old knee, black knee, white knee, they will one day testify that you are the King of kings, the Lord of lords. Bless us as we go. For this is my prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. God. Praise God. Uh, we want to thank the Lord for his presence during this service today. Uh, we just want to glorify his name.